Alrighty, so we're looking at the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition, 13 years later. Um, you know, I did the Fallout 76 Collector's Edition six years later, so we're going to take a look at this one, and this is actually an interesting one because I actually did not own this before. I have recently purchased this from somebody, so some of this stuff was unopened, but most of it is open, it's used, that's fine. Um, it comes in this cool case, kind of the fake leather. I mean, it actually feels pretty nice, but the biggest thing is when this guy sold it to me, there is no game, which sucks because I would have loved to have new Vegas on 360, but I'll be okay. So it comes in the slip cover, which I can take off. And so it has that nice worn leather box look a little bit of both on the back just you know since it's the bottom there's nothing there all right so you open the box and on top is this fallout new vegas all roads book from dark horse and you'll see it's got Freeside, I believe. Looks like Freeside, although you'll never see that many NPCs in the actual game in Freeside. I believe this is a... It's about Benny, I think. When we walk the road to Vegas, all the lights of the old world still glowing pretty as you please. I'm pretty sure it's about... Benny. The year is 2281. In the aftermath of a nuclear war, humanity has struggled to survive. In the Mojave Wasteland, great tribes have taken on the trappings of civilization, building communities, towns, and even cities. But their more brutal instincts aren't so easily left behind. So, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but pretty, I mean, I like the aesthetic. I am almost shocked that we didn't get more like Fallout comic books and stuff. It's definitely a cool vibe. Now, I believe this is the special poster. What intrigues me about this, and maybe I'm just dumb and I don't remember, is this is the perk chart from Fallout 4. And I don't remember it looking like this in New Vegas. I recently replayed on PC. It's not like this. And so it's so interesting that they basically had this funny poster and they're like, you know what? Let's actually just make that the perk chart in the game. And this, I can show some footage of it. I think it's like a, yeah, the making of New Vegas. I'm going to check to see if the dust, uh, the disc still works. I pray it does. I would, you know, it'd suck if it didn't. You've got the casino chips unopened, so we'll open them now. God, in almost over 10 years, it's never been opened, so. 21, $1. Oh, Vault 21. Poker chip 25. I don't know, does it buy? Oh, Bison Steve Hotel. Okay. The Atomic Wrangler. Hell yeah, the Tops Casino. They definitely make him look worn. That's pretty cool. Ultra Lux. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Silver Rush, hell yeah! So I've never, I've never gone gambling or I've never been to a casino, but these are pretty heavy. I assume this is what real chips feel like. Like it's not some cheap flimsy stuff. This is heavy. And you've got the playing cards, almost like for Caravan. It looks like I think I could be mistaken. Uh, 
Benny is the Joker. Tops. Oh, these are backwards. I see, I see. The Courier. Followers of the Apocalypse. Jean-Baptiste Cutting. Ulysses, okay. So, I'm actually curious. Did I guess I didn't look up when this came out. If it was before or after the DLC. Because that was like... That's a DLC character. Nero. Captain Papaz. The Gunrunners. Vulpus and Ulk. Inculta. White Glove Society. Caesar. I don't... Uh, okay. I don't know if that's what he looked like. Rex. Boone and Manny. Sarah Weintross. Don't remember. Aurelius. Yes. Alice. Dixon. The Rangers. That's pretty dope. Colonel Moore. Praetorian Guard. Major Chairman. Dang, they got everybody here. Legate Lanius Lanius Holy crap I don't remember Siri Motor Runner Dead Sea and Alexis Mr. House The Van Graffs General Oliver Nice I do like the art style on the cards They look really really good Box is falling apart just a little bit. The guy was originally selling it for like 200 bucks, and I was like, I'm not doing that. So he lowered it to like 110, 100. It wasn't too bad. Probably the best part though about this collector's edition is the platinum chip. Everyone's fighting for the platinum chip in the game as it upgrades the Securitron. Spoilers! to basically be impossible to kill and this thing weighs it's got nice weight to it it's huge you know comparing to a normal coin but it's actually like good quality it's nice to know that collector's edition it feels like back in the day actually a little bit gave more of a shit than nowadays but yeah i love when people who I know like fall out and they come over, I love showing them this. So dope. But yeah, I mean, that's really it. I'll show some footage for the DVD and call this video good. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching and, you know, watching the streams, watching the videos. I know I post all kinds of random stuff, so I appreciate the people that stick by to kind of watch whatever I post. But until next time, that is going to be it for me. I'm out.